ujubili mi i pacha ni dada wala sa based on kilos i know most of you are already saying this man my life is not based on kilos i don't need kilos to live my life but what we need we do need kilos and our lives are based on kilos we need kilos for electricity we need cables for telecommunications our internet is based on cables our mobile phones we need cables for our mobile phones not just charging even the ISPs your network service provider that you are using behind the scene at their centers they are using cables to drive your cell phones so that you can get the network to check your instagram to check your whatsapp to check your facebook my name is tamam makobe the founder of technology for all academy a division of above supply and ict solutions today i'll be teaching you how to configure a copper cable or an ethernet cable an ethernet cable belongs on the layer 1 of the OSI model if you do, if you do not know what is an OSI model just take a moment and check the videos that I did before this video and then you can come to this video so that you can understand what is a physical layer when we talk about the physical layer and also understand all the layers Our internet cable can go up to 100 meters long and beyond or above 100 meters our signal strength will be lost because our cable is it is uh magnetic ele- electro electronic magnetic interference is one of the things that can that plays big part on our cable so it can go up to 100 meters what do we need to configure the cable you need our crimper wire stripper our cable and rj45 plugs last but not least We need our cable tester to test if the cable is working. My first step is to take my wire stripper and then I hook it on my cable and then roll it few times, take it off and then I'm just removing, just need to remove the shirt that I just cut. Then I just need to split my wires. My cable is a four pair wire. Our internet standard we have two types of standard. We have 568A which is green white, green, orange white, blue, blue white, orange, brown white, brown. And 568B which is orange white, orange green white blue blue white green brown white brown it doesn't matter which standard you use so long as you are using the right standard i normally prefer 568b the orange white the one that you start with orange white okay what do i need to do right now is to I uh, split my wires so that they can be in single strands so that I can be able to line up my wires in 568 B standard so if I have my eight wires I'm starting with orange white and then orange Then comes green white. Uh blue 
you have to make sure that they are aligned so that when you put them inside your connector they don't like mismatch you have blue white and then comes green brown white then brown press them so that we get them straight we make sure that they don't mingle with one another there's no mismatch when you put them in your connector so after putting them in order like this my next step is to cut the wires so that they can be uh, the cells that can fit inside my connector okay i'm gonna take my pliers so that i can cut my wires for the connector After cutting my wires, my next step is to put my RJ45 plug Okay, this is how we put it You make sure that your orange white is on the first pin Then you push it Make sure that you push it so that it touches the metal plate on front because that's where the communication happens. But you'll see as I test the cable what will happen. Because if the cable is right, all the, the LEDs must be green. But if there's something wrong, all of them will be green. You'll see that when I test the cable. Okay, I'm making sure that all my wires are touching in front. I can see my wires went all the way to this metal in front there. And then my next step is to take my cable crimper, put my RJ45. The, 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 that is a slot for RG45 on the on my crimp. Then you squeeze it, squeeze it, make sure that your wire is crimped. The cable will go out of the RG45 connect. As you can see, when I put it, it's crimped. And what you do on the other side, you must do on the other side. Or what you do on the left, you must do on the right. Or what you do on the right, you must also do on the left. You know the principles of math, they tend to apply in most of things that we do. So now that I'm done, I'm not going to do the other part. I have a pre-made cable. So for testing, I'm going to use this premium cable. I already did this cable. This is my cable tester, as I said. I have to turn on my cable tester. You can see the LED is blinking. And then, plug my connectors. Just check what happens on the LED. When I plug here, as you can see, check it's on, on, off, on, on, on. Let me check it with you on, on, off, off, on, on, on. So, meaning on our tester, it shows that this cable wire 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, and 8. They are properly inserted, but four and five are not properly inserted. 
there's a problem on forward drive. Yes, our cable will be doing work, but sometimes or, 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 or somewhere in, in, the, in the long run, it, we will start to have a problem with this cable. I hope this was informative for you. And if you really like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And even if you didn't like the video, you can give us a thumbs down. But please also leave comments so that we can know where to improve. Because we are new in the video in this industry. But we really want to go in the industry. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And one last thing again, please, guys, please leave comments so that I can know where to improve and where to make changes. Thank you a lot. Have a blessed day.